Welcome back to yet another unfinished project. In a previous video, I've got a single key on the MIDI accordion to work. Today, I'd like to get the rest of the keys working as well as making the MIDI wireless. I'm replacing the giant mess of software with something much cleaner. I'm replacing the Arduino that used to run this thing with an ESP32, which is a microcontroller that runs about 10 times faster than the Arduino, and it's got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities. Let me demonstrate how this thing connects, then we'll dive into the construction. All you have to do is go into your phone, download this MIDI synthesizer app, open it up, go to the Bluetooth page, and connect to the MIDI accordion. And the MIDI accordion should pop up if it's on, and once it's connected, you should be able to play notes on there. The accordion has one valve per key split into two rows, and I've already got the magnets attached to these top keys here but I've got to work out how to physically get the magnets on the bottom keys to work. What I came up with is a hot glue wire setup to transfer the motion of the bottom keys to the top where I can attach magnets and have the sensors read the positions. The wire I'm using is some sort of steel so magnets stick to it. These are cut to about 4 inches long and bent to shape for each key. Hot glue works quite well on the wood but it doesn't stick too well to the brown resin stuff on the top of the key. The next thing to do is to figure out how to mount all the sensors on top. And to do this, I've got this dowel that I'm using as a spacer to get the sensors at the right height. I was going to put a screw through the wood and then into the accordion, but I discovered that what I thought was silver painted wood, like the sides here, are actually some sort of metal. It seems to be aluminum, but whatever alloy this is feels a bit gummy and unusual to me. So I went with a super glue and then hot glue, and it keeps everything in place without me having to drill into the metal. Now for the sensors, I've genuinely forgotten how to put these things together, but looking back in my previous video, I've discovered that I need to put a resistor between the signal outpin and the positive voltage supply. I'll use these 0603 resistors that I've been lying around, and they're 100 kilo ohms each. I'll just put these between the pins and solder them up. I'll let you watch me do the first one in real time, and then I'll speed the rest up. Great, now time to get all that onto the accordion. Well, I think you get the idea. Let's talk about shift registers instead. Shift registers can be used to expand the number of inputs available to the ESP32. In this case, the 165N has 8 inputs and 1 output. The inputs are connected to individual keys on the accordion, and a single output wire goes to the ESP. The ESP can also send commands at a shifter through a few wires, which I'll represent with this yellow link. After you press a combination of keys, the ESP can lock in the state of the keyboard through the shifter register. So even if some of the keys change, the data read by the ESP represent the state of keys at one single moment in time. The ESP then asks the shifter for the state of each input sequentially using the single wire. This input is then represented as a binary number and processed for note on and note off events. Those events are then transferred over Bluetooth. 
at this point you can understand why the keys work and also why chords work. The response time is also not half bad. You can also have all the keys sound at the same time because everything is captured in parallel. I won't bore you with the code because it's mostly pretty straightforward. I'll have it available for download if you want. One thing though, even though the ESP officially supports Arduino as the development environment, some Arduino functions like shift in, which is kind of important for this case, doesn't actually work and you've got to write your own shift in. So yeah, just be careful. I'll end this video now with a short showcase and also a couple of thoughts at the very end. So that's the MIDI accordion that's also Bluetooth. There really isn't much to it. It's a lot of repetitive work, as a lot of instruments are if you've got a whole bunch of keys. And just so it works reasonably well, I'm quite happy with it. Several last thoughts before I end the video. First thing is the power. Right now I'm using four AA batteries and it's regulated down to 3.3 volts using this regulator. You can also get away, as I found, with an 18650, which runs on about 3.8 volts. That's over the spec of the ESP's 3.6 volt, but the convenience is there. You can pop just one battery into the charger instead of four, and it'll last a whole lot longer too. Either way though, the power should be fine. The second point is dynamics and MIDI velocity. The first idea is to use pressure sensors, which I do have here. The issue I see is that you'll have to work out how to convert both increases and decreases in pressure to velocity, because the bellows go both ways. Also, as different amount of keys are pressed, the pressure to make the same sound level is going to change on you. All that seems much more complicated than just building a Bluetooth foot pedal, just like a pipe organ has. The third point is a future extension to the accordion series. I'd like to build a synth, whether that be fully analog one, or I rip the Yamaha FM synth out of the Sega box so I can play some chip tunes on it. But either way, I think it'd be a fun project. Also, this little part in the master palm switch mechanism has broken. So I just fabric cobble a new one, it seems to work quite well. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you've made it this far, please consider subscribing. And as always, watch your fingers.